there are also those that are harmful for others. presentation leads to number one observe interaction among living things in the environment two describe the beneficial interaction of organisms in the environment three describe the effects of harmful interactions in the environment let me show you this picture what do insects do with the flowers Diba, kumukuha sila ng nectar mula sa mga bulaklak na siyang kanilang kinakain. Kasabay nito, nakakatulong din ang mga insekto sa paglipat ng pollen grains na mahalaga upang ang isang bulaklak ng isang fruit-bearing plant ay maging bunga. Nakatutulong ba ang insekto at halaman sa bawat isa? Yes! In this interaction, it shows that both species benefit from one another. This interaction is what we call mutualism. The relationship of plants and fish in an aquarium is also an example of mutualism. The fishes provide the plants their needed carbon dioxide. The plants provide the fishes their needed oxygen. Ang bawat isa ay nakatutulong upang makuha ang kailangan nila at nang sa ganun, sila ay mabuhay. This is mutualism. In the next picture, we can see a bird that built its nest on a tree. As the bird benefited from the tree, the tree is not benefited in return. Sa ugnayang ito, isa lang ang nakikinabang. This type of interaction where one organism benefits while the other one if not affected, is what we call commensalism. As some interactions remain beneficial for the organisms, unfortunately, there are also those that are harmful for others. The lion needed to harm and kill the deer so that it can eat its meat. In this interaction, one benefits and then the other one is harmed and killed. This type of interaction is what we call predation. The one that benefits is called a predator. The one that is harmed is called the prey. Aside from food, organisms may also compete for sunshine, shelter, water, and others. At kadalasan, kung sino ang mas malakas at mas malaki, siya ang nananalo sa isang kompetisyon. This type of interaction between organisms is striving for things needed for survival is called competition. We have parasitism. Like predation, parasitism is a type of interaction where only one benefits. The organism that benefits from this interaction is called parasites. The one that is affected is called host. Parasites could be internal or external. Ibig sabihin, pwede silang tumira sa loob o tabas ng ating katawan o natayop. Isa sa mga uri ng internal parasite ay ang asteris na nakatira sa human stomach. Ang kuto o tik naman na makikita sa balat ng aso ay isang uri ng external parasite. There are beneficial interactions in an ecosystem namely mutualism where two species benefit and commensalism where one benefits and the other one is 
not affected. There are also harmful interactions in an ecosystem, namely predation where one benefits while the other one is bodily harm, parasitism where one benefits while the other one is affected, and competition where species are striving for their needs. Sa pagkakataong ito, kumuha ng papel at ballpen para sa ating self-assessment. Write the letter of your answer. Number one, what do you call the interaction or relationship of biotic and abiotic components? A. Ecology B. Ecosystem C. Population Number two, which of the following is A. Abiotic component? A. Plant B. Water C. Animal Three, what do you call the type of interaction where two species both benefit from one another? A. Mutualism B. Commensalism C. Predation What interaction is shown in the picture? A. Commensalism B. Predation C. Parasitism 5. Why do predators tend to compete? A. There are many resources. B. It is just to show their strength. C. There are limited food that they need. You can now check your answers. It's a cold blood in love. It's a cold blood in love. Let's break each other's vows. It's a cold blood in love. Congratulations! See you again in our next vlog. Bye!